where were we? the F sharp is not there when you're doing the diatonic open for the G and similarly if you want to the D and added another sharp there'd be two sharps that were sunken down two sharps were sunken two sharps were sunken those sharks swimming around down there and if you went to the A shape there would be three sharps that were sunken can play them okay and then you went to the E shape there are four sharks that are sunken so that's a good thing to know but in the pentatonic um, G we have we ha we don't really hit those sharps okay in the pentatonic G we don't really hit the sharps so um, that's not going to be in tune with this but uh, we avoid that <coughs> so it's good to it, it's good to know that <coughs> that <clears throat> that's kind of what this chart chart is about okay so let's let's do the eraser here all right that's kind of what this chart is about let's move along to okay that chart I know was previous uh, this is an interesting chart it shows the intervals there's uh, something going on. Somebody, <clears throat> one of my cats, uh, somebody has gone <laughs> somewhere. Somebody has gone somewhere. At least I know they're well fed because they're going. Okay, so um, this is an interesting chart. The most important thing about the charts, is, and get into cursor mode, you have to go be in cursor. The most important thing about the charts is is this um, stack of two long and stack of three short. Stack of three short. This is short compared to the four of them. Because you build the pentatonic scales with that, such as the uh, G shape C would start. Uh, okay, let's let, let's talk about the. Um, the uh, C-shaped, C-shaped C, okay, C-shaped C starts way up here on this E, all right, and it's, so that starts on an S2L, 3, 5, 6, R, and then goes into a stack of three short, and pentatonic, we don't have to worry about the fourth and the uh, second. It's not because of, um, why we don't want sunken notes down here that that we would that would be helpful down here and it's certainly um, fun to play down there if you want to get those sunken notes you have to go like you know you have to start going up the neck on the string underneath <coughs> <coughs> My cats have a funny way of letting you know uh, they want you to stop what you're doing <laughs> and, and um, give them their milk, their daily milk in the morning. Milk's all I can give them because the chickens will eat anything else I put out there. But they have food down in their down in their area the chickens can't get to. No, <clears throat> we don't leave the door open down there. <laughs> so. C, the C shape goes okay and essentially the C shape is according to this the C pentatonic is a 3 5 6 R and then a stack of three short one two but then it warps okay <clears throat> the unwarped building blocks this is interesting this is very interesting the unwarped building blocks of the C. Okay, it's like an L shape because it's got the long on the bottom. Okay, and it's got the stack of three short, which is the stem of the L, and then it has a hat on it. The hat is the beginning of the boot part on the top. 
I don't know who would want to wear a sole on the top of their head. I don't know. But um, that's kind of what the little, the little thing does. Because that's the pattern from before. All right? So uh, they're like acrobats, and they kind of walk on each other's head. I don't know. But um, <clears throat> so that's what the C does. And again, we're talking the same patterns here. So you can see this pattern here. Here's a stack of two long. Here's a stack of three short. Whether we add the seventh and the fourth, here's the fourth and the seventh uh, in the stack of two long. Here's the the uh, fourth and the seventh in the S three S. So those are those are the uh, these guys right here. Okay, they're being used over here. This is just a breakdown. See, there's a space there so you can see it, <clears throat> and that's the unwarped. And here's the unwarped. <clears throat> wow, the cats are really like sabotaged. People use stuff you can't see to sabotage your, you know, your your uh, respiratory. <laughs> we'll call it. Anyway, because <coughs> I know that's not my dog, <coughs> and I have five cats. That's one reason I don't want cats inside, because their litter boxes smell terribly, you know. They, they, it's all right. I love them. I've had, I've had many of them, and uh, they, they have a whole half acre here to find some place else to go. It's probably fluffy. He's a really big one. I love him, and and it can pick him up if you get to him. But you know, you let a cat grow up. You know, you don't pick him up every day. He doesn't want to do that. But if you catch him and you're going to feed him, they let you love them. Okay, because I used to pick him up when he was cold, when he was a kitten. So, um, <clears throat> anyway, um, here we have in the key of C, we have our pattern stack. All right, so from, from the purple note, which is D... A stack of three short of playing all the notes, third and the seventh. And then going into three, four, five, six, seven R, I can do that from here. I can just start that from a string lower so we don't hit the warp. So let's try that one more time. How did that sound? Now that's interesting. That's like doing something on the piano like Two, four, five, six, seven, root two, and then picking it up from from uh, the third. How do we do that? what we did we want one two two three four five six seven root two and then we want to the uh, stack of three a uh, stack of two long three four five six seven root so remember there's only <clears throat> only six notes here there's eight notes here and these are the only two patterns you have to know that you have to know. You have to know these patterns in, in my system. Uh, other people have, may have different shape patterns. <clears throat> you certainly must know these because it's so easy when you do. So the best way to learn them is to, uh, l let's get to the drawing tool right here a second, or a highlighting. Let's do the highlighting tool. tool. The best way to learn them is to learn the center part without the seven and the R. So you don't worry about where the seven and the four is. Just learn these guys who are on the end and the interval here, you know, it's about four frets. And and you learn these guys. Okay, learn that. Starting from the two. 